The Cincinnati Bengals, who in their last game, oh, Maron, a crushing, crushing playoff loss uh, where they just completely collapsed and should have had a win against Pittsburgh. So now they want to get some revenge. And they head to the Meadowlands to face uh, the New York Jets, who um, this is the thing that jumps out to me in this game right away. I, I'm, I'm excited about the, the team in general, the Jets. I'm excited about the defense's potential. I want to see Darrell Rivas. And I like that right out of the get, gate, I get to see him against one of the best wide receivers in the league, uh, A.J. Green, because, Greg, he struggled, Rivas did, against top uh, wide receivers last year. And now let's see if he's fully healthy. Will we get the old Darrell back, or is it old Darrell? Well, I was surprised to hear the Jets say, I believe it was Thursday that, well, Revis isn't going to just take A.J. Green one-on-one. It's not like we're just going to leave him out there and it's just going to be one guy tracking him around the field and he's not going to get any help, which I, I don't know. When you, Five years ago, they're not saying that. Do they trust Revis to do Maybe, that and why? It's weird that coaches would say that at all. Maybe they're just making, making it up, but it, basically they're saying he's not the guy from five years ago. Because they wouldn't have said well, that. Well, that's not a crazy thought. I mean, no. he's 31 now. Well, they talked about he's ta- they've even talked about a shift to safety at some point and maybe was even on the table for this year. I look at this game and I feel like so much. I don't think it's on for the table for this year. I, I would, would be, be surprised, but I, yeah. but we're already seeing hints of him not being the guy he was before. I mean, this could be a big game for someone like Gio Bernard, who, you know, you got t- no Tyler Eifert. If Revis does swallow up green, then maybe Tyler, board in the sp- Tyler Boyd in the slot gets some snaps as well. But you have to go somewhere else if green's getting taken care of. Why not Jeremy Hill against a defense that no longer has Snacks Harrison on the defensive line? Another option. You, uh, you think that's a bad run-stopping group, though? I mean, still gonna be Muhammad good. Wilkerson, Leonard Williams, those two guys are great run stop. I'm just saying most teams don't have those two guys up front as run-stoppers either. I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm, I also think Jeremy Hill looked great in the preseason. Yeah. This can be a good rushing attack. I, I don't know what the Jets' run defense will look like without Damon Harrison, who was the best run-stuffing defensive tackle in the NFL for the last couple of years. I'm more concerned about the Jets' back end than I am uh, at the line, but we'll see what happens. I think this is a, another game to me that's a toss-up. The Jets at home, the Bengals uh, trying to find their way with a new offensive uh, setup and missing some pieces. No Hugh Jackson. Let's see what happens. Out of pressure on Andy Dalton. What about on Ryan Fitzpatrick? Yeah. Ryan's going to have another nice year. You guys just watch. <laughs> not doubting you, but he's, I do think he needs to get off another to nice a, a nice start. Yeah, and he, was, he did not look very good in the preseason, I will say that. 